due tonight. An investigation is continuing after a series of events had police in southwest Amarillo for hours. Pro News 7's Marissa Lucero was there today and has details. Marissa? Larry, police closed off the entrance of Virginia at 34th, and some neighbors couldn't get into their house for a few hours just because of that series of events. Police officers were called out to the 3300 block of Lewis at approximately 3 p.m. on a disorderly conduct dispute between a man and a woman. And that's where things get weird. As officers were responding to that. Uh, we get a second call coming in of shots being fired. As the officers were heading towards the area, one officer was actually coming down Virginia here to go over to Lewis. And as he turns a corner right here at 35th, he observes this Dodge pickup that's somewhat in the house. Officers approached the vehicle to find a man inside with two gunshot wounds to the chest. He told police officers he ran over the man who shot him. So officers are beginning to cordon off the area looking for a maybe a victim or something like that. Turns out the person that he claims to have ran over was actually still inside the house, had gotten knocked inside the house. The two men were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and neighbors in the area say it was a chase between a white vehicle and the red Dodge truck that ended with the Dodge truck inside of a house. But officers say that part is still under investigation. It is a aggravated assault with a deadly or with a motor vehicle. Uh, the guy was on the hood, probably shooting through or possibly shooting through the windshield, shooting at the suspect. He was literally on top of the car, and the guy. Whether he couldn't see, don't know what, but anyway, ended up running into the side of the house. And the woman involved in the initial dispute call was found a few blocks over along with the white vehicle. Police say no gun was ever recovered at the scene. From the Kennedy Broadcast Center, I'm Marissa Lucero, Pro News 7.